Do you remember your first meme? Over the past few decades, the millions of internet memes that have floated across our screens have shifted from message board sh** posts to an essential form of human communication. They have become digital soapboxes for political movements, have inspired international acts of charity, and, of course, have been co-opted by corporations in the form of mostly cringe-inducing advertisements. So in this episode, we're doing things a little differently. Instead of starting from the beginning, we're going backwards through time to dissect how memes became an internet phenomenon. And more importantly, how they potentially predate the internet by thousands of years. January 2021. At President Biden's inauguration, Senator Bernie Sanders is photographed while being adorable, igniting the first truly viral meme of the new year. 2020. Another ultimately unsuccessful presidential candidate, Mike Bloomberg, commissions the most popular online meme accounts to make meme ads for his floundering campaign in one of the most fellow kids moments ever. Which just goes to show you how far we've come since... 2015. As evidenced by this Google Trends graph, the concept of internet memes is broaching mainstream America. Katy Perry's Left Shark, Pizza Rat, and The Dress brings memes from the dregs of the internet to something your mom brings up during book club. 2012, a picture of pissed off looking Arizona-based feline tartar sauce is posted to Reddit and tartar sauce becomes grumpy cat. Proof that viral success can translate into a lucrative business, even for a cat. The early 2010s. Scumbag Steve, Good Guy Greg, Condescending Wonka, Forever Alone, Confession Bear, and Overly Attached Girlfriend help solidify memes as internet shorthand, as sites like Reddit and 4chan become fertile breeding ground for memes. 2008. Loss. 2007, Know Your Meme launches as a video series from Rocket Boot, covering the history of viral memes like Dramatic Chipmunk. Soon, it becomes a database-style website and the de facto meme resource on the internet. 2006, YouTuber Eric Helwig prank calls a Michigan radio station by playing a mostly forgotten 80s one-hit wonder, inventing the Rick Roll showing that memes don't need to be static images and that Rick Astley still slaps. 2005, you probably make a Chuck Norris fact away message on AIM. In the late 90s, logging onto the internet sounded like this, and the white text on an image meme sees its genesis with all your base are belong to us, an awkward translation of an 80s Sega game called Zero Wing. According to local news broadcasts, it makes no, no sense, sense whatsoever. whatsoever. 1996, in an attempt to show how motion graphics work, designer Michael Gerard creates Baby Cha-Cha, aka the Dancing Baby. It spreads across early internet message boards and makes its way onto network TV and Ally McBeal. In many ways, this is the first widely consumed internet meme. 1994, I draw Stussy S, aka Cool S, aka Secret S, into my social studies textbook, continuing a long tradition of doodling memes in the real world. The late 80s, artist Shepard Fairey, who would later design Barack Obama's ultra memeable Hope poster, makes a sticker of wrestler Andre the Giant that's plastered all over the world. He's sued by Andre's lawyers and then creates a more stylized version featuring the words Obey, which is still widely distributed. 1976, British evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins releases his book, The Selfish Gene, in which he coins the term meme as an idea, behavior, concept, or style that is spread from person to person. 1970, Lord of the Rings inspired Frodo Lives graffiti appears throughout England, proving that nerds never needed the internet to sh post. In the 1940s, American GIs in World War II begin drawing the now ubiquitous Q 
Kill Roy Was Here image all over the world, inspired by a welding inspector who marked his complete inspections with the doodle. 1921. As uncovered by Twitter, this comic strip is weirdly still relevant, but we're not at the first meme yet. Let's go back thousands of years to two images that were widely remixed, distributed from person to person, and represent shared knowledge much like modern day memes. Memento Mori, the message that all humans one day must die, commonly accompanied by macabre images like skulls and crossbones, has been found in nearly every civilization dating back to ancient Rome. Genitalia, Recreations of our naughty bits have been lining medieval texts, archaic art, and cave walls for thousands of years. Henry Jenkins, media professor at the University of Southern California, told Thrillist, Not only is it representative of human vitality and sex, it also took on meaning as a subversive statement against societal norms. Their intent is very similar to so many of the current memes in our culture. In case you didn't know, people still draw dicks. So we salute you, memes, for making our shared knowledge a little more animated and confirming something we've always known. Life, at its core, is all about dancing, mortality, and genitalia. Which, actually, is kind of what Ally McBeal was about. Really makes you think. Hey y'all, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and comment on what you want us to cover next. We might not actually do it, but we'll definitely read the comment. Thanks!